What's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today I just want to quickly let you guys know that the Saiyan Day co-op campaign for Global and JP has officially started and we're going to take a look at all of the campaign details as well as the potential rewards that everyone can expect to get. So uh, yeah, let's pop into the news here and scroll down to the campaign details. And honestly, it's not really anything too exciting. Um, it's basically just a bunch of missions divided into personal missions and co-op missions, but let's go through it here. So the event period runs from today until the 29th, basically five days in total. And it says, lend your power to Goku, Saiyan Day co-op campaign is on, defeat legendary Super Saiyan Broly by lending your power to Goku. Event details, aim to clear quest or event stages during the event period of this campaign. Missions will be completed depending on the number of stages cleared by players from all over the world. Fulfill the participation requirement. You can attempt the co-op missions by completing the personal missions. So basically, you can't actually access the co-op mission rewards until you finish all of your own personal missions. Uh, work together to raise the co-op mission reward rank. The reward rank will be raised every time a number of stages cleared worldwide reaches a certain number. Corresponding rewards can be obtained depending on the rank reached. Awesome rewards including Dragon Stones and the Wallpaper, the Legendary Super Saiyan, can be obtained by reaching the final rank. So we have the co-op missions here, and uh, they are divided into rank 1, rank 2, rank 3, rank 4, and rank 5. So for rank 1, it says Piccolo has sent his power, and we all have to clear uh, any stage 1 million times together. And this includes, of course, global players and JP players, hence the co-op aspect of it. So yeah, rank one, clear any stage one million times together. We get one stone, three um, training locations, five of the Z swords, and also three Whis support items. And then for rank two, it's Gohan has sent his power, clear any stage 3.18 million times together, which of course is the Saiyan Day number. And for this one, we get one stone, some meat, some uh, Bulma support items, and also a gold Hercule statue. And then for rank 3, Trunks has sent his power. And this one is clear any stage 5 million times together. For one stone, some reversal medals, uh, platinum turtle shells, and also some princess snakes. And then for rank 4, Vegeta has sent his power. Clear any mission 7 times. Or sorry, any stage 7 times. Uh, no, 7 million times. Not just 7 times, 7 million times. For 2 Dragon Stones, 3 Sleepy Kai's and some Hercule statues. And then for the final stage, and this one is defeat Broly with a punch filled with everyone's power. And uh, we have to clear any stage 10 million times together for two stones, the uh, wallpaper, as well as some Grand Kai's and also some Hercule statues. So essentially to get all of the co-op rewards, the global and JP players have to work together to clear 10 million stages, which Seems like a big number, but it's really not. I mean, if you combine all the players from both sides, 10 million stages stages over the course of five days um, should be easily, easily, easily obtained. And, uh, you know, for the most part, when they do these co-op campaigns or any kind of social media target, uh, they make it fairly easy to reach. There have been exceptions in the past where they've overestimated like how you know many clears or whatever, or how many items we can obtain, right? But for the most part, these like milestones are pretty easy to reach. So I do expect that all of us will be able to get all of these rewards. But of course, before you get these rewards, you do have to complete your personal missions. And these ones are the same across the board. It's just clear any stage from quest or event once clear any stage from quest or event three times, and so on and so forth, five times, 10 times, 20 times, 30 times, and 40 times for the final one. So you basically have to either do the story up to 40 times or do any of the story events or, you know, Dokkan events, whatever, up to 40 times in total, and you'll get all these rewards. You're basically looking at some orbs, some training items, some meats, and uh, it looks like three dragon stones there. So, in total, if we're doing a stone count, which I know is very important to a lot of you guys, it's three stones here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven stones here. So a grand total of 10 stones for the co-op missions and the personal missions. 
But of course, there's uh, you know a lot of other important things in there that you could use. Like the meats are awesome, the uh, kai's are good, the orbs are obviously always useful. So, uh, not too bad overall. You know, I just kind of wish like, you know, when they when they when they frame it around defeating an enemy. It always makes me think of like a mode where we can actually bring teams into some kind of like big boss fight, like a raid boss or something like that. That, you know, like what they have for Grand Cross, right? With like the demons. So you actually bring, you know, your teams or at least even one unit, like each person brings one unit, you know, on the raid team. And then you can just like take on this enemy, right? So like we could fight like a giant Broly and like, you know, work together to take him down. You know, like that would just be awesome. And. It's a shame we don't have something like that. Instead, we have these like missions, which I mean, I'll take the rewards, but it's like honestly a little bit lame, right? To like call it a co op campaign and just have it be these basic missions where, like, you know, like we're, we're probably gonna achieve everything, so that's nice, but at the same time, it's like you don't really feel your contribution to the effort, right? Because like they're just adding up all the clears for all the players, and uh, I don't know. I really hope they expand on this in the future. I hope that they, they make it more exciting, make it more interesting for future co-op campaigns, but we'll see. You know, I feel like that's a little bit of a wishful thinking, but you know, recently they have been making some big changes to the game, so you never know. You never know. I feel like anything is possible at this point. So uh, yeah, we got the missions, and is there anything else? Oh, here is the... Legendary Super Saiyan Broly wallpaper, really, really clean, really dope. Um, I like it, man. I like it. I mean, I usually don't like to set my wallpapers because I just like having my characters, like my units, my teams on the screen, but um, I can appreciate the art for sure. And I think that's pretty much it, guys. Um, what does it say here? Uh, Ultimate Clash clears are excluded from the completion conditions of missions. Okay, so you can't do Ultimate Clash to com complete the missions. Um, only players who have completed the personal missions uh, can obtain the co-op rewards, okay? And rewards of the personal missions can be claimed upon mission completion, makes sense. Uh, nothing too crazy there. Okay, so now let's pop over to our mission tab here. And here you guys can see the progress of your uh, personal missions and also the overall progress of the co-op missions you know globally right so you just click on two campaign missions at the bottom here that little orange button and uh, it'll show you yeah how far you've progressed in your personal missions and then this one will show you uh you know how far we've progressed throughout the throughout the co-op missions but you do have to complete the personal missions first before you can access the co-op missions okay so make sure you guys get this done uh, five days, I think, is a lot of time if you clear, you know, like, I guess on average, eight, uh, like, story or quest stages per day for the next five days. You should be able to get all of them done, so I don't think anybody will have too much trouble, and that's pretty much going to do it, guys. There's the co-op campaign. I wish it was a little bit more than just missions, but... You know, this this game still has a lot of room to grow, still has a lot of uh, places to go. So I'm hopeful for the future, guys. Even though some people think the game is dying, some people think that the end is nigh, you know, the end is near. Um, I got faith in this game, okay? I, st I still got faith in the development team, despite some of the recent issues we've had. Uh, especially on the global side, but I won't talk about that in this video. You know, that's for other videos in the future, possibly, maybe not. We'll see. But uh, that's it, guys. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the same day co op campaign. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time here, you like what you see then hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.